And even with social distancing measures now in effect at most grocery stores, seniors or people with compromised immune systems are still encouraged to stay home. And as Local 5's Eva Anderson tells us, a group of local high school students wanted to make sure they still got their food on their table. One Johnston student decided to turn his no school boredom into philanthropy. It's an effort he hopes lasts far beyond the pandemic. The first few days where we didn't have school, I was completely bored. I had nothing to do. That quickly changed when Tanner realized the once simple task of grocery shopping was no longer safe for his grandparents or his immunocompromised dad. He knew they couldn't be the only ones. I see there's an issue of what can I do to help fix this issue and help people in my community. So I reached out to a few of my friends and together we came up with our organization. With that, T's Angel Hands was born a volunteer grocery delivery service where high school students bring groceries from the store or a food pantry to the door of someone who can't make it outside safely, all for free. Being a senior, I have not been to the grocery store for about four and a half weeks. Sharon turns 77 next month and says getting the virus is a real fear. I just you know, it's frightening. Her granddaughter had been shopping for her, but had to take time away from her three kids to do so. Then Sharon read about the high schoolers willing to help. I was so impressed. They arrived when they should have. And then he called me a few days later to see if everything had gone OK, you know, which I thought was a great follow up. Every person that Tanner and myself asked were very willing to help. Hannah Daly, a junior, said it wasn't hard to find friends to put their spare time to good use. I just am so happy that I can help people who can't like help themselves. And I think about my grandparents who are having their deliveries, like groceries delivered to them. The spirit of putting others before yourself is what Tanner says he hopes people his age continue to embrace. You need to care about the people that it affect more and you need to stay at home for them so they can stay safe. Tanner and his friends are looking for more people to help out with their free grocery delivery service. If you or someone you know could benefit, visit our website, weareiowa.com, and we have all that information on how to get connected right there. In Des Moines, Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. The students can either pick up pre-ordered groceries or do the actual shopping for people who need it, and they all wear masks, wipe down the shopping carts, and of course, well, they wash their hands before shopping for everyone's groceries.